Hey guys, good morning from Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. Joy here back again. Uh, today I will be traveling for uh, overseas for a couple of days. Now, uh, actually, more than a couple of days, few weeks. So I won't be here. So I'll be away for a while. And I thought, yeah, just let's just do two more reviews before I left. So as I promised you, I'm gonna be doing uh, the Bulgari's Man in Black later on, and then I'll be doing one of my most favorite scents right here, right now. So I've been enjoying this game so much lately and I got so many kind words and comments and support from all the members and a lot of kind words from you guys really really kept me going and I've been enjoying this so much like I've been enjoying this fragrance game for last one year and I've been just enjoying the reviewing aspect of it even though it's just not anywhere near professional I was just enjoying talking about fragrances and all so I just decided I'll just do two more all right so first of all, I'm gonna let's take a look at the La Nuit de Lom from the house of YSL, Yves Saint Laurent, and this happens to be my only uh, fragrance from the house right now. But I actually like quite a few of them in the house, so I'll be getting few more fragrances later on. So let's start. I don't know. This is like such a legendary and such a special fragrance. There's so much to say about this. So ooh, it's gonna be a long review again, I guess. So let's try to you know uh, cover it. First of all, the YSL house is a very elegant and very posh house, you know. When I get the image, I mean, like, when you look at this brand anywhere with whatever products they might have, like designer clothing or sunglasses or bags and whatnot, very elegant house, you know. They have uh, quite a huge range of products. And I always wanted, like, uh, even the ladies, they love this brand and they treasure it. I heard my friends, female friends saying, anything from this brand is good, dude. You know, so <laughs> there's a very posh image of this brand. So let's tackle the box first. I mean, uh, the box actually is pretty standard box with a little bit of uh, pattern going on. So why is all written here? La Nuit de Lom, the company, the 100 ml, it's an ADT version. And then on the top, you also get the logo. At the side, you get the serial number for me. And at the back, you get all the ingredients and other, the serial number is again. And this is actually 2012 bottle, I mean, no, 2014, sorry, my my bad. 2014 formulation, so I was kind of not that unlucky because the 2015 ones are really watered down and you can really, really clearly see through the juice. So all the debate actually going on forever that reformulation this, reform, reformulation that, you know, I don't really... I, I was a bit worried at first, but right now what I realized, uh, anything that's offered from the house and then whatever formulation you get, it's just the way it is, guys. You know, you have to accept it. You're just not going to buy a 10-year-old bottle with a ridiculous amount of price, all right? So, but then, you know, in the back of your head, it always works like, hey, did I get a good stuff? So, yeah, for me, 2014, you know, I got good performance and, you know, uh, compliments from this so for me i'm very satisfied with this purchase so lucky me so that's all uh, so at the back i think it says it's made in france so the uh france all the way like there's class <laughs> in this brand so let's take a look at the bottle which is which happens to be my one of my most favorite bottles in the collection very sexy looking bottle and the cap is very uniquely shaped and i really always wanted to keep this in my collection i always imagine how it looked like so as you all know, I'm just in the designer game. And then for me, these are my top tier designer fragrances, guys, okay? So I tried a uh, few other fragrances from this house and I happened to buy this at first. I mean, this one I had to get not because of the hype, just the smell, sheer smell of it and the mysterious aspect of it. I just didn't have anything in my collection that smelled like this, all right? So the bottle is pretty nice and the cap actually is a very uh, huge cap so if you happen to have a 50 ml bottle which, which is going to be like this much so the bottle eventually is going to look bigger than i mean the the cover the uh, this thing is going to look bigger than the bottle itself so that kind of it's kind of strange but very nice too so the bottle actually has the fade it has a bit dark and goes slowly up and then you know the hue to it this bit greenish kind of juice i guess and the bottle is a bit darker so that's all like it, it, it talks it, it gives the whole uh, the presentation it points towards it's a night out scent all right and then you got the batch code and sticker at the bottom so that's more or less about the pres bottle presentation so let's look at uh, what are the releases this house has all right 
So I tried quite a few of their fragrances, not all, I will admit, I, some of them are discontinued and some of them they don't carry in the mall anymore in the counters. So I, get to try, I got to try the original Loam, which this is a flanker for, and then it's a very sweet floral and then very likable and lovable scent, not, not offensive at all. And then I guess just because of that reason, they made a lot of flankers for Loam. So Loam, the, as you know, the bottle is more see-through and uh, yellowish kind of a juice, and then the cap is more metallic, and this is more black, all right? So they also have a few flankers of Loam, like Loam Libre, Loam Sport, and then the latest one would be Loam, Lib uh, I think, Ultim, which uh, they, they, it's not released here just yet of right now in Malaysia. So I'm just still waiting for their fragrance because I heard a few good things about it. So I may get that over the original Loam. And also it has the house as uh, Lanuit and they have few flankers of the flanker. So for maybe their frozen colognes, their perfume version, and there are also a few other fragrances like Kuros and then Body Kuros, the black bottle. So those bottles look really like really awesome and then the fragrance are very polarizing okay and then they also have the reef gauche and uh, live jazz okay so very uh, rich house and then they have like some barbershop kind of scents and some sweet scents some night out scents so they have good mix you know in the whole product line so yeah there are quite a few fragrance releases that are worth looking into guys all right so let's do today la nuit de l'homme so what are the notes main notes in this this been reviewed to death it's been out, so I'll still just say for the review's sake, I'll just mention the few prominent, few prominent notes I get from this. The opening is very fresh bergamot, like a very citrusy, fresh opening, and it it has the it it comes out together with the cardamom. You know that's the highlight of this fragrance. It's famous for its cardamom note, and it gives that slightly sweet, slightly warm and then woody and spicy kind of a scent but everything in moderation and the cardamom notes the note it gives this fragrance the manly the romantic and then the mysterious sort of a uh, i don't know image to this fragrance that's all i get from the uh top notes all right so then it as it dries down you get a little bit of lavender very nicely done i think I don't usually like lavender so much in fragrances because many of the designer fragrances very have this very harsh note of lavender, all right? So it's not very pleasant all the time, but in this one, if lavender is done right, this 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 baby did it, all right? And then also in the dry down, as it goes to the final stage and all, it goes towards the bit of vetiver, and then I get a little bit of chocolatey, uh, like... Valentino Umo or something or DHI or something it, it has also a little bit of chocolatey a bit warm this gourmand uh, I don't know powdery sort of a feel so it's not really like a very fresh it's semi fresh and also has a little bit of powdery effect so and not so much of powder as in like it's gonna be like baby powder all over no it has a little bit of powdery very little but very elegantly done so everything in this fragrance that's done there are very little to complain, all right? I'll come to that bit later, okay? So, who who can wear this fragrance, guys? Uh, Lanoi Delon basically is built for all. Anyone can wear this. Any fragrance can be worn by anyone. So that's what is the general consensus. But if you uh, have to pick an age over this, I would say from my nose and from my experience and the, for the feel that I get from this fragrance, it's a little bit for uh, people who are a little bit more uh, grown-ups like 20 years or 25 years and up those people those crowd of men can pull this off and they can wear rock this very very confidently with the right body language for the season i think this one works great right in between the summer and the winter in the dead heat in the summer it's sometimes uh, you know it dies down very very fast from my experience i tried this, tried wearing this in the daytime it died very very fast and then uh, it, i could hardly smell it you know Maybe others could, but I couldn't smell it at all in the summer daytime. For the cooler summers, yes. Cooler summer nights, maybe yes. Yeah, then then it's all right. And for the winter, which this was actually, I think, originally was built for, I think in the winter it's not going to give you that performance. Maybe the perfume version, I haven't tried that. But then, so it's like basically here's winter, here's summer. So whatever comes in between, I think that those weather, spring, autumn, so fall, 
I think perfect for this fragrance, all right? And then this is a nighttime scent. Uh, this works best at night. This is built for night for a reason. So uh, how many sprays with this fragrance? I think I would go with four to five sprays. It's not very heavy and you can actually spray few more if you really want. It's not going to choke anyone out and it's not going to smell uh, nasty. This is pretty nice fragrance and you really could afford to spray four, five, six cents. So I mean sprays. So where do you apply? For me, my usuals are on the arms, both side of the arms, all right? And then uh, two on the neck, on the side of your neck where you have the blood flowing. And then one maybe on the chest or in the clothes, all right? And maybe you can do one at the back of your neck, at the back side, or maybe on your head. I don't know. So they so that combination will project it a little bit better than you know if you just do the one or two sprays, all right? Because this is not a very strong sense. So a little bit more doesn't hurt, all right? So uh, occasions, where are you gonna wear, wear this stuff, okay? Occasion, I would say this is good for dates. It's very nice fragrance for date nights, all right? If you are taking out your lady or you are going to have dinner with her or you're going to have a very nice walk later on or you're going to go for a drive, you know? So it's a very uh, special scent and then it's not, it doesn't have anything cheap about it. When you smell it, it doesn't smell synthetic about it. So ladies really love this on you and they'll think uh, you are a perfect gentleman, which, and you're also a little bit of, uh, you know, you have this flirty aspect, you know, you are kind of interesting man, funny man, sophisticated man, and then safe man, you know. You are not one of those cheesy sort of uh, jerks, all right. So that, that, this fragrance don't give out that. Uh, vibe at all you know so another one I never heard people say this but I think this will make a very great very great wedding scent if you're going to get married guys in the church or in a hall or or I don't know anywhere in the uh, venue for the venue for the wedding uh, this is if this can be your wedding scent guys for me I, I see it it could very easily be a wedding scent or even if you're attending a wedding great all right so where else? Uh, this is very special. If you're going for close encounters, strictly for, uh, listen up guys, it's for, uh, you know, I'm strictly mentioning the grown-ups here, not the kids, all right? This is great for close encounters. If you are, you, if you happen to be very in very close proximity with your female friends or, you know, like your significant one, and you're going to be like, you know, close to each other, this actually uh, suits it best, you know? This uh, has the sexy appeal and then it has that night version uh, night the sort of the noir kind of uh, feel and it also had the spicy and the sweet and a little bit of uh, you know uh, bergamot and so all together you know it's not a harsh fragrance it's very one of those fragrances that you know unlike I mentioned this before unlike one million which is screaming for attention you know like hey notice me you know I'm right here I'm wearing something like a one million or Invictus so this is exactly the opposite direction of those. This is a very sweet fragrance as well, just like the other ones, but this one draws people towards you. People would like to come close to you rather than running away from you. So that's the sort of a feel you get from La Nuit. So people actually think you're this mysterious man, like not people, maybe ladies, uh, <laughs> all right? So they will think you're very mysterious and it's going to, they want to know more. So that's what, you know, it keeps you wondering and guessing, all right? So that's the whole fragrance's magic, you know, that's the magic of this fragrance, all right? So for compliments, as I just mentioned, it's a very good compliment getter. So, so far, I think compliments wise, whenever I wore this, I never got a bad remark or whatsoever. I'll give this 10 out of 10 for compliments, guys, all right? So longevity and projection, how long this lasts? This fragrance is not one of those beastly, performers okay it's not one of those beast mode performance or projection this is more like your valentino umo or something like i don't know lome ideal that sort of a Guerlain from Guerlain house or maybe uh hugo boss bottle those kind of scents very sophisticated and subtle scents and uh, they're not really meant to be skin scents but the scent bubble around you is going to be not huge okay so for longevity i'll give this uh, a good maybe seven out of ten for projection, it doesn't really project so well, but when people come close to you within your arm's length, they're going to smell this. So I'll say for uh, projection, it gets a six, all right? So those are the only two areas I'm going to give this a little bit lower mark. But the rest, as you can, as you can see, this is actually in my top ten uh, most 
perfect 10 out of 10 so club so you'll see why all right and then uh, which are the fragrances that can remind uh, you of this fragrance you know like those fragrances you when you wear you get a little bit of you know uh, feel to close to this fragrance I got uh, as you know Salvatore Ferragamo Air of Black it has that uh, I think the lavender note which sometimes and the black pepper it has a little bit more mature and big brother vibe to this all right that's more manly a little bit less flirty more serious so that one on the dry down um, maybe not in the opening on the dry down in the last stage you'll get feel of this all right and also you might get a similar feel for the powdery effect maybe the armani Giorgio armani the code this used to be the black code you get a little bit of feel of this and also the armani's od knew it knew it knew it uh, okay uh, so the the black bottle basically so the this tree gives you a little bit of vibe and then funny enough as I mentioned a few days ago I have the Cartier the declaration so that the dry down it gave me a little bit of feel of DHI I guess that feel also I get from this so this sort of like they warm you up I think in that category they're all kind of similar all right so to end with the review all right uh, this fragrance was in my list to buy for a very long time guys and I never this plus Bleu de Chanel both of them I bought them in the end well you know like towards my end of the fragrance collection I have about 100 and I'm happy with my collection and I thought at times you know maybe this is not that worth it you know like it doesn't last that long it doesn't project that long and it's sort of like a very uh, the price is quite high on this also guys it's, it's close to 100 USD here in Malaysia for 100 ml and for 50 ml I think it's about 70 to 75 so basically uh, not cheap guys for people average Joes like us not really cheap you cannot get this discounted here in Malaysia or online you just get to buy this only at the boutiques Weissel boutiques they uh, sell this uh, exclusively so for the price you know sometimes you get confused because you really work hard to save up and stuff so I was confused for a very long time but then in the end I ended up buying this so to me I think this fragrance is a must for if you're a collector and you want something different in your collection for a romantic setup night setup you can have a lot of options these days a lot of this noir at night editions are coming out but nothing beats this guys you know this is not a beast sort of a scent this is more like a beauty this is like a, uh if you if you have seen the movie beauty and the beast i think this is the beauty this is never the beast never wanted they never uh, intended to be the beast all right for the compliments is beastly com uh, complimenting all right guys so for me if i give this a mark uh, i think it's going to be getting again like perfect 10 out of 10 for me just for the sheer compliments the feel it gives me and the fragrance beauty whole package presentation and then the the you know the that mysterious feel that keeps you wondering you know like what what was the was this fragrance all about you know like so that mysterious aspect so that's all guys so i hope you like the review uh, as usual, you can see it's a bit long, but then I really want to talk about all the aspects of La Nuit de that I love so dearly, all right? So you guys take care, and then uh, have a nice day, and then do let me know what you think of this fragrance. Take care, have a nice day. Bye-bye.